Well, in this interesting episode, good people, we are talking about the following interesting three things. Number one, Gavin Hunt says he's more than interested to sign ex cars achieved striker Ben and Parker. Number two, um, we're going to be talking about how Mkwena saved uh, an Olono Pirate defender's career. Number three, I don't want to give details as to why the Golisang move failed to materialize to Kaiser Chiefs. Are you interested to know more about that? Then please stick around. To those that will stick around, guys, if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Because to subscribe, it is free to like the video, it is free to comment in the comment section below, good people. It is free of charge without wasting much of your time, good people. Well, guys, please become a member of this YouTube channel. Just next to join button, there's a button called, jo just next to subscribe, there's a button called join. Please, guys, become a member of this YouTube channel. That's the best way you can actually support my art. Remember us, we make money by ads that will be, will be playing on YouTube, but sometimes they are not enough, so please support us as well. If provided that you love this content, you love this channel. Nevertheless, who do I start with? Let's start with Gavin Hunt, guys, giving us the, uh, this thing about um, Opera Parker and, you know, saying that he's more than welcome, he's more than willing to sign Upen and Parker. Obviously, it makes sense, I mean, honestly speaking. So, oh, Gavin Hunt guys has got this to say concerning Upen and Parker signing for him. Yeah, so as quoted by SAPC Sport, he has got this to say. Ben and Parker is training with us. Obviously, I'm trying to do something if I can. I think he's a fantastic player, but obviously that's something we will see about. Nothing has been signed or anything yet, says Ugavin Hunt. As a player, I think he's fantastic. He, is, he has shown it in the last few days at training that he still got it. And I think he, I think in that position, we need, we need somebody. But obviously, I can't. Nothing has been signed or sold yet, right? Bash will be the captain in the next season. We will go to one. We've got no one else. Okay, but let's leave that one as well. So, um, the, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, having said that, good people, it, it is clear that um, this man will probably oh look, this guy, uh, oh, who's this man, man? Um, oh, Ben Parker will be signing with e, Ukavan Hand, and I mean, honestly speaking, it is very much clear because even at Carter Chiefs, he was very much in love with uh, Ben Parker, and also Gavin Hunt loved the tried and tested one, which are no, or usually called experienced players. Nevertheless, let's jump into this one: how Mukwena saved Basaka Mako's career. Then you wonder how, what happened, when? Don't worry. Let's get into the that one. Paseka Marco, Paseka Marco, Paseka Paseka was not given a great regard in the academy, and I saw him playing, and I said, I said, my goodness, I can't release a player like this. Says Mkwena. All right, all right, all right. When I had a top team, Pesitao, the late of Majaka Modisha. Kayeli Sezo Shose and Paseka Mako. Kigen Dole was also in that team, but he was promoted earlier. Mugwena said on the podcast channel Disc Talk. When I arrived to coach the under 19, they were on their way out and the club was prepared to give them their clearance. Paseka Mako was not given a great regard in the academy, and I saw him playing and I said, my goodness, I can't release a player like this. I see, I see now he plays mostly at the left back, but he is always he is always playing away below the capacity that he has. Okay, okay. Mukwena, who admits the type of player that Marco is, got to work with him at Pare at the Bacanias. He revealed that he was influential in convincing Mitro, uh, Mitro to sign him from Chippa United. When I was a pirate, I tried to bring him from cheaper at the time and I wanted him to play in a more offensive position. He thrives he thrives tight or, or look, areas and close control. The good footballer, uh, footballer player see the action a step or two ahead, but the best footballer are those who see the action in its complexion, right? They see how it looks at the end and they will drive that position 
that process and that's why there is there is the importance of coaching with principle rather than the micro control of every move and every step in every important the principles are the principle are what govern your technical culture on the pitch once you are able to have that there is a little bit of space for the creativity and uh, and the quality of the players to be able to carry out this principle in a way where everybody understand how the pic how the picture should look like at the umkwena well yeah it is quite interesting having given you that history we want to quickly jump to atazana because there's little less to talk about when it comes to a certain person saving someone's career we just want to say thank you for that now we all know there was this uh, much spoken of or much spoken about move that was supposed to happen where um Gorisang was highly wanted by Kazo Chiefs it was it is not even a secret nevertheless why did that move or what what failed as far as Kazo Chiefs side is concerned because we've had the media we have had Braga at some point we've got the agent um uh, Mike Macab speaking at Kakasi FM but Kara James have said nothing about that until Atazwane said the following okay all right all right all right <laughs> yeah no really not disappointed i think we had we we have had an assembled a very very good squad We've got a balance. We still have Kamohelo uh, Matlati. We still have KG Ka Haohelo Sakhota. We have many players that can play as a winger if you want to change the formation to play with wingers. If you want to play with wing backs, we still have players that can can that can play, give us that power. Left left flanks and they are right they are right flanks. So I think we have a balanced team except the two oppositions that we need to fill quickly. Um so he was basically saying that they're not disappointed because they have a carve. Kaza Chiefs head coach Zwane has reacted to his side missing out on Kamakolo uh, Godesan, revealing he is happy with the squad but wants to strengthen into position. Earlier this year, Chiefs were understood to be seriously interested in Godesan, whose initial contract was coming to an end in June. But after Braga activated a clause to extend the South African junior international deal, Chiefs would have had to pay a transfer fee. Both clubs couldn't agree on them. The player's valuation. Zwane was now asked whether he was disappointed about missing out on Kolesa, but he doesn't seem to dwell too much on the situation. Like I said before, he says no, not really, not disappointed. I think we have we have assembled a very, very, very good squad. The rest is history, so we cannot talk about uh, that anymore. So, guys, when you look at the quality that Kata Chiefs has versus the quality of players that they missed i was listening to tuso pala and then he got to be asked the following question then by i think the the episode was playing at tk solution tv you can check it on youtube he said very quite interesting things he says that the type of players that casa chips have are players that casa chips will compete in the league i mean will will will, will build properly but when it comes to these players competing for a title ah he says no not now he says the type of players that cut chip signed are not players that are ready to compete with sandals for titles he says if cut chips were ready to compete with uh with 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 um, um, sandals they should have signed players with big names those big names include abo kodisang abo zubong and zungu and all the stuff so he would have been convinced that Carter Chips will compete for a title if they have signed for such players. Therefore, it necessitates the following question. Um, now that Carter Chips missed out of those players, they couldn't sign the likes of Cody Sam. They couldn't bring on the likes of Bong and Zoom. So big names, in, in fact, in jail. Uh, there was no big name that went to Carter Chips. They missed out of Cody Sam, like I said. Do you think that Carter Chiefs will be somewhere in a better position or we should just completely say this team, this season, they will only be building. I want you to comment on that one. Remember I gave you three stories. 
Calvin Hunt says that he will say he was really interested to sign Upena Parker. Number two, um, Gwena saved uh, saved Baseka Makos career. Number three is Kaja Chiefs missing out on Odisang and Zwane reacting to say, guys, we've got a very good squad. The players that we have can do wonders as well. But on the other hand, somebody doesn't think that Kaja Chiefs is ready to compete simply because they did not sign big name players. What does that take Kaza Chiefs? Do you see them maybe, where, where do you see them? Position what? In order for me to know, get into the comment section below. Let the conversation guys begin right now, right here.